That is like the tightest, snuggest fucking hospital bed I've ever seen. All right, hey guys, Nukes Plays here, back with episode two of Batman the Telltale series. The first episode I thought was really great, so hopefully we can uh, keep going in that vein. I don't know if there's going to be any sort of recap thing, but if there isn't, then I'll just kind of catch you guys up as we go through it. But I want to keep this intro as short as possible. So with all that being said, this is Batman Telltale series, and this is episode two, Children of Arkham. Here we go, guys. Revolution is knocking on Gotham's door. When this whole thing... Make sure you're on the right side. Mr. Wayne, thank you for opening your house to us. Together, we will change Gotham. Harvey Dent, Gotham's next mayor, and I'm eager to know you. Vicki Vale, not interested, and reporter for the Gotham Gazette. Carmine Falcone? Is the Dent campaign soliciting votes from Gotham's biggest crime family? Your father knew which hands to shake. Don't you know not to corner a wild animal? It's dangerous. The chemicals. Where are they? We're all being played in, couldn't you? It's the Waynes. The Waynes are the biggest gangsters in Gotham. So, there you go. One other thing to point out is that um, the colour of that bat tech, uh, you can choose between like red, blue, purple and yellow. I went for yellow, I think, just to check that it was working, I guess, when I started it. And uh, yes, yeah, so we're stuck with yellow. I would preferably have gone for any of the other colours, but um, hopefully we'll be able to change it when we get to the second game. Because I googled it and you can't even change it like during the thing. You'd have to start a whole thing again and play through and do the same choices. And I was like, ain't nobody got time for that. So instead, we're just going to play through with the yellow and then in the second game, we will uh, change different color. And apparently you can change it between episodes and that one as well. So, you know, look out for that, I guess, in however many months it'll take to get to there. It's weird that they put a plaque on the floor, rather than on a wall or something. I thought I might find you here. The news was upsetting for both of us, but you should see this. I know you come here for solitude, Bruce. More allegations about his ties to the underworld. This isn't going away. It's all so public and messy. Tell me, all of this is a lie. I wish I could. There are no angels in Gotham, Bruce. Maybe there never were. I've been dreading this day for nearly two decades. I, I hoped it would never come. Forget the papers. I want to hear it from you. The truth is, they were billionaires, Bruce. You can't amass that kind of wealth without making certain moral compromises. It's just not possible. That kind of money taints you. My money has never corrupted me. And I'm proud of you. But you're hardly the norm. Hill greased the wheels of politics. Falcone was the muscle. 
Thomas legitimized the whole enterprise with his name. Your father, Hamilton Hill and Falcone, they were partners. Nothing happened in Gotham without them knowing. Falcone, the papers, they were telling the truth. Everyone knew about this but me. I know it's a lot to take in. I want you to know I had my suitcases ready. I couldn't stand to be around your father anymore. But then they were killed and you were all alone. And I just couldn't walk out the door. Everything I did, everything I've ever done was out of love for you. I hope you can forgive me. Just give me some time to think it through, okay? This is the first time I've been back here since that night. When the police called me to collect you, I thought they'd finally arrested your father. I couldn't believe a low-life thug like Joe Chill would have the audacity to rob and kill Thomas Wayne. He was simply too well known. Too... too big. Yet, there it was. Wouldn't Chill just run when he recognized him? Well, it's a fair assumption. But he didn't. You always said it was a simple mugging. In 20 years, you've never wavered from that story. Unless he's put up to it by someone. I can recall every moment of that night in vivid detail. But maybe that's wrong. Sometimes we block out things we don't want to face. Maybe there was some detail I overlooked. Search the alley to remember the past. I want him standing here. Right now. And what would the Batman do with his own parents' killer? The possibilities are frightening. I'd only want to ask him one question. Why? My parents could have given him anything. Why would he just shoot them? He was stabbed to death in prison. No one mourns for Joe Chill, Bruce. Oh, that's disappointing. I thought he might still be alive. Uh, okay, so what we've got? We've got the, the theater at the back there. We've got graffiti. Got anything else down here? Or are we just gonna hit another invisible wall? The walking animation is really weird, like even, I think it's the same when we're Batman, but it just looks even more awkward like when he's a human. Human as if Batman's like a real bat, but you know what I mean. He just wanted to protect us. He thought he was invincible. Sadly, he was mistaken. I always wanted to be brave. Just like him. And you are. He would be so proud to see that you took a different path. Theta. I love that movie. I saw it countless times at that theater. How long did it play there? Only when you wanted to see it, Bruce. Your mother arranged the special screenings personally. I never knew that. She was always so good to me. Where exactly does the memory end? With my father pleading, you don't have to do this. And the gun fires. And after that? Uh, there are considerable gaps in that recollection. Maybe. Do I really want to know? 
So when he said, I remember every moment of that night vividly, he was lying. He's in prison, so we know where to find him. Well, that opening chapter of that felt way quicker than it did in the, the first episode. Okay, this will be cool. We actually get to see inside. Like, I wonder if we get to see inside uh, Arkham Asylum before they, like, make it all, like, nicey-nicey how he wanted to with his uh, plan from the first one. Getting you in to see Falcone like this? I don't have to tell you how many rules we're breaking. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm always here for you, but this could land us both in hot water. I pulled all the strings I had with the lieutenant. This better not come back to bite us. Look, I get that, Harv, okay? And it means a lot to me. I know it does, Bruce. It doesn't make it any easier. The last time you disappeared behind closed doors with Falcone, the press made us pay. At least tell me what this is about. Look, I'm all for blind support, but I should at least know what I'm getting myself into. I'm not sure, but I think Falcone put a hit on my parents. Wait, what? Bruce, that's... that's terrible. That's why I have to speak with him. I have to know for sure. Bruce, I appreciate you opening up to me, but just try and keep it cool in there. I don't want any headlines taking away from my debate with Hill. Gentlemen, we finally put Falcone in his cage. Now, well, thanks to the information you gave me, Bruce, he won't ever get out. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, information? What information? Oh, well, I assumed you knew. I was going to contact your office first thing. Sorry, Harvey, I was going to tell you. Well, tell me what? Your friend here gave us a case that'll put Falcone away for life. A catalog of his entire criminal empire. Is that a fact? It's the reason I said yes to this unorthodox request. I thought we would have just like broken in as Batman and like beat him up a bit. Nice job bringing in Falcone. Yeah, that son of a bitch better not get off again. He's not getting off the hook, Rene. Not this time. Mr. Wayne, Sergeant Rene Montoya. I just wanted to say, you know, some of us police support you, despite what the media is saying. Thanks, Sergeant. We're keeping Falcone in the infirmary. He's lucky he didn't get roughed up more. I could tell Batman wanted to kill him, but he held back. He cares about doing the right thing. Well, whoever he is behind that mask, I say Gotham's lucky to have him. Yeah, it's great to know he's out there watching over the city. Okay, I guess Harvey's on board as well then. All right, Falcone's inside. Just say what you gotta say. We'll be out here. It's weird how they just say episode two and not like the actual name of the episode. It's kind of weird. 
That is like the tightest, snuggest fucking hospital bed I've ever seen. Okay, there you go, this title. The hell? Bruce Wayne? You must have some clout. My own wife can't get in to see me. <laughs> Good thing I'll be out of here in a week. <laughs> we need to talk, Falcone. You weren't so eager the last time we met. But then, I knew you'd come around. Especially after the press got their teeth in you. <laughs> You're your father's son. Yeah, that's right. Tommy and I were close. More than friends. More like cousins. Until you sent Joe Chill to kill him. Ah, Didn't deny it. So that's what this is really about, eh? The pop digging up a 20-year-old killer. Two killings. And they were never forgotten. You and me, we're practically family. I thought you'd have figured that out by now. Hey, I tried to get through to your dense party. Maybe I should have spelled it out. Got a whole closet full of birthday presents I was never able to give you. Convince me then. Tell me a story about our big, happy family. <laughs> there it is. Now I got you hooked. Your father, Hill, and me. We ran this city. Still do. <clears throat> God damn this pain. Can't think through it. Morphine's on the side there. Be a good boy and help Uncle Carmine out, huh? Why do you look like he was high? I am not here to take care of you. You deserve to suffer for what you've done. Of course, you'd never know the truth. How much of your old man is in you? I need you alive, but only until I have answers. He likes that line. He said the last Apple time. didn't fall far, did it? Look how fucking out of focus that is. That's insane. He loved you, you know. He did it all for you. He protected his own. If you got on his bad side. Your father was more ruthless than any of us. He had a switch, you know. Still. What is it with me picking like so fucking rich, bitch to fuck games? Including with? you. Some people just have the mind for it. He was one of the most brilliant men I ever knew. Until you hired an assassin to take him out. What, you really think I ordered the hit? Sure, I worked with Joe Chill from time to time. Put a button on someone, he'd take him out. But I never ordered that hit on your parents. So who did? You can't trust anyone in Gotham. Least of all those you call friend. Your parents learned that. Oh my god. They're waiting for you what? in hell! The bastard had to die. Oh, she must have that toxin thing on her. That makes him like crazy. That was in the first one. Hands in the air! I thought someone Stand was gonna have like down. sniped him through Get the a window. Doctor. Secure this floor! No one gets in or out! Go! Go! Well, that was unexpected. He's like an actual like big player. Ooh, I hate that smoke effect. That's horrible. And we are in deep shit. <sighs> I bought us some time, but not much. Or it's gonna get out, sooner or later. Why would she do something like this? We had Gotham's biggest crime lord in our grasp. I don't, I don't know. I hardly recognized her when she burst in. She was so different from the woman we met in the hall. Ah, it's a disgrace. Another officer gone rogue. 
It just doesn't make any sense. She'd never do anything to hurt the department. Oh, Falcone's case meant justice for a thousand unnamed victims. And now it is a PR disaster. How can I run against corruption when our own cops are redecorating the precinct with their prisoners' brains? Listen, we gotta get out in front of this. We gotta spin it as best we can. Issue a statement saying that we have the shooter in custody. Uh, details are still coming in and that we're investigating. The, the usual. Slow down, Harvey. We need the facts first. Uh, the simple fact is she walked in and shot him. Then we need the complex facts, like how and why. Lieutenant, uh, uh, Mr. District Attorney, uh, Falcone's lawyers are here. Oh, Christ. I can delay them for a little while, but we still need answers. Okay, we'll ask her fucking questions then. Tell me if she says anything. I have to know why she did this. Ah. Alfred, Falcone's been murdered. Good God. Good God. I'm looking into it, but I'll need access to the back computer for anything I find. Connection secured. Alfred, I'm going to try and confirm some suspicions of mine. Okay, so let's... So it's basically like CSI. Her or like the, uh... Still visible beneath her skin. The warehouse thing from the last one. It's like investigation mode. Or detective mode, I guess. Fresh injection site. Mm, that doesn't look like blood. So who would be using... chemicals? Alfred, I think I found the substance. Analyze and forward me the results. So, alright, so if we're going for chemicals, right, think who could it be? We could have poison ivy. Of course. I'll be in Bane. touch as soon as I have the results. Uh, the Joker likes toxins, doesn't he? But I don't know why Where he'd be wanting Falcone... Mr. Wayne? ...assassinated. What's going on? Oh, but I got this awful feeling something terrible happened. Sergeant, you have to think. What do you remember? Copperhead, but they're more into poisons to kill people. Oh, and this is more like... Brainwashing. Oh, okay, maybe it could be like Mad Hatter or something. I was something. hoping it wasn't real. I believe you were drugged, Sergeant. I... It would explain a lot. Listen, you have to believe me. I talk big about hurting thugs like Falcone, but I would never, never betray the lieutenant. Everything is so foggy. I remember a sharp pain. There's an injection site on your neck. Then it just felt light. Like I could do whatever I wanted. No guilt, no consequence. There was a voice in my ear insisting Falcone was gonna get off. And all I knew was that I had to stop that. I had to, no matter what. The reasons why I shouldn't. They were a million miles away. You have to remember more, Montoya. Try. I remember a hand on my arm, guiding me like a parent with a child. The voice, it was saying something about revolution. Revolution? Anarchy? Cobblepot said something similar. Oh, Cobblepot. That would make sense, considering he's the only one we've actually seen. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Lieutenant. I've let you down. We stalled Falcone's lawyers for now, but they'll be back. So how is she? Did she tell you anything? Yeah, hey, 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 don't worry about that now. Someone used her as a weapon, Harvey. They drugged her and sent her after Falcone. <sighs> hey, get forensics in here. Now! She remembers a voice saying something about revolution. That's not much to go on. It is for me. Now, if you're bringing forensics in, let's get Bruce out. Alfred, I gotta get back to the manor. I've got a lead on whoever's behind this. Bruce! Wh what are you doing here? My friends in the, in the GCPD have been telling stories about some kind of lockdown? Sorry, Vicky, I can't talk to the press. Your lips are moving. Words are coming out. You know what I mean. I wonder why they decided to make her brunette instead of blonde. Word is there were shots fired. 
near where Falcone was being held. Know anything about that? I mean, you must have been back there when it happened. Where did you get that? So it's true? <laughs> no, I didn't say that. Word is, you turned over enough dirt on Falcone to put him in Blackgate prison for life. A day after he showed up at your house. And now you're here. You can't afford to be associated with another scandal. I can keep your name out of whatever we print, but you need to give me something I can use. Who fired the shots? A, a cop? I can tell by the way you're brushing me off that something happened. You're fishing. You don't have anything. Now if you'll excuse me. You should talk to me, Bruce. This is coming out whether you stonewall me or not. Okay, so with that, I guess we'll call it a day. Interesting first part again. So far, off on a good foot for the uh, opening segment. Uh, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. And hopefully you'll catch me guys back next time with chapters three and four. So thanks for watching. Stay awesome. And I'll see you guys then. Thanks a lot, guys.